It seems that green is the way to go, as even major companies start looking at ways to reduce their carbon footprint. In 2008, the North Zone JCU partnered with MBD Energy to research how algae could be used to produce bio-oils. Technical Director of MBD, Larry Sermons, has been on the research team from the start. MBD originally stood for Midwest Biodiesel, and uh, two years ago we were involved in getting into the biodiesel industry, but the limitation being low-cost, sustainable feedstocks. So that led us toward algae. The algae research was first used as a means for developing biodiesel until greater value was found in the leftover mass. The, uh, the bags, the big bladders with the bulkheads that you've seen over there is a very low cost way of producing algae that from an ongoing operational exercise is very cheap to maintain um, or just replace as needed. So. That's what we're, we're probably taking a little bit of a different spin um, on how we're going to produce algae in a production manner. The actual intent to use it initially was to evaporate water and waste to concentrate waste in wool scouring industry. And the idea that he found is these bags were evaporating and sitting out, lots of green stuff was growing in it. So that was where the idea came to grow algae. So. That's definitely an, an Australian idea. This is just actually being flushed for sanitation purposes and probably Sunday or Monday we'll, we'll inoculate it. The local design is so unique to our region that only certain native algae is researched on site to prevent contaminations. Because Australia has a lot of dry land and a lot of sunshine and therefore we're in a top position to produce um, and to commercialise the algal biomass. Anglo Coal has signed an agreement with MBD, and Anglo Coal is one of the biggest industries um, using uh, mine in the mining field, and they have signed a contract with them for $5 million. It's expected that in the next few months the technology will be fully operational and will be used by key industrial companies to reduce their carbon offset. Will we hit certain barriers? Will we hit problems? Yes, you always do, but whether or not we're going to be successful, I, I don't doubt it at all. This is Kim Shulton, reporting for JCNN News.